Hello and welcome. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you might often hear me use the term sub-5, normie or chad to categorise men based on their physical attractiveness. However, I often get emails sent to me or people in the comments who are still unsure of which category they fall into. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to know which category you're in, in as plain and as simple terms as possible. So to avoid wasting your time, I'm just going to get straight to the point. The best and most consistent way to know which category you fall into is to simply observe how women treat you. You do not need to watch my videos analysing attractive facial features. If you do just this one thing, observe women's behaviour around them, their body language, their emotions, then it becomes easy to tell which category you yourself or anybody else falls into. And in fact, I found this works so well that I could tell you which category a man falls into without even looking at his face. I can tell you if he is a normie, sub-5 or chad purely based on his interactions with women. I can watch day game approaches on YouTube and even when their faces are blurred, I'll be able to tell you whether the man is attractive or not based solely on the woman's reactions to what the man is saying and doing. So, let's dissect this a little further. What are the key behaviour indicators from women that show which category you fall into? Well, the two simplest ways to break this down is to look at women's emotions and their body language. And after watching this video, you'll find these two things really obvious and reading women's behaviour will become second nature to you. So we'll start with emotion. This is their facial expressions, their feelings, etc. Let me introduce you to Wheat's find out in 5 seconds for which category you fall into. Next time you're out and you lock eyes with any woman for a couple seconds, before looking away, memorise the facial expression she had in reaction to seeing your face. It will likely fall into one of the following categories. So let's say that the woman gives you this face, or something similar. Based on this expression alone, what category, sub-5, normie or chad, will you likely fall into if you're constantly getting looks like this, looks of disgust from women? Well, I think it's quite obvious that if you get this look, chances are you're a sub-5. If a woman's initial reaction to your face is one of disgust, bearing in mind this is all happening in the first two seconds, then chances are you're a sub-5. Likewise, the same goes with this face. This to me, talking from her perspective, is saying, Oh God, no, he saw me looking at him. He looks like such a creep, I better look away now while I have the chance. So again, if you're constantly receiving this expression, you're a sub-5. If a woman's reaction looks like this, this to me looks like she's offended. She's saying, what gives you the right to look at me? Stop staring at me, you loser. Go away, get lost. I want you out of my sight. This also falls into the category of sub-5. Lastly, and I pray for those who get this facial expression, if it is one of anger, rage, fury, you can see the hatred in her eyes then this will also mean that you are a sub-5. I'm now going to show you a clip from the dating show, Take Me Out. And what I want you to focus on is the women's facial expressions and make a prediction on what you think will happen given those facial expressions. It should come as no surprise that 21 women turned off their lights, meaning they're not interested in dating him. And this was judging off his looks alone. Also, don't fool yourself into thinking that some of the women still turn their lights on, as it's a common thing on the show for women to leave their lights off at the beginning in order to be polite. It's called virtue signalling, and I've talked about it a lot in my previous videos. Secondly, there are also rumours that the producers of the show tell the women to leave their lights off at the start, Otherwise the show will get very boring very quickly if every woman turned their light off right at the start. And to emphasise my point, after the personality round, all 30 women turned off their lights. However, it is my bet, given these horrific initial reactions, that all of the women had their mind made up from the very beginning. These are the kind of facial expressions you will experience on a daily as a sub-5. So how do I know if I'm a normie? So a normie will usually get some neutral reaction. There's no excitement, there's no positivity but there's no negative emotions tied with it either. She won't get disgusted at you looking at her face. You might also get a friendly smile, but it won't be very enthusiastic. She won't be expressively inviting you over to come chat with her. However, for chads, and this is how you will know if you're a chad, if she's very happy, she's smiling with intense joy, she's inviting, then this is a very good indicator that she finds you attractive. Likewise, if she has a smirk on her face like this, 
It's seductive, it's flirtatious, it's sexy. This can also show that she finds you very attractive. Again, if you get this kind of facial expression, one of glee, only Chaz will receive an initial reaction like this. Lastly, if she pulls a funny face in front of you, again, it's playful, it's flirtatious, and based off first impressions, it looks like she's already comfortable in front of you. Now let's have a look at another clip from Take Me Out, showing the reactions that a Chad will receive. And again, I want you to pay close attention to the expressions on the women's faces. I'm good. You're up, my man. All right, ladies. My name's Tyler. I'm from Orange County, California. Ladies, if he's... So what was the result? Well, after watching that, it should come as no surprise that he lost zero women after the first round. No girl turned their lights off. And after the personality round, just nine women had their lights turned off. So by the end, 21 women, that's over two thirds, were interested in dating this man. Crazy numbers and this should be also obvious based on their reactions. Look at the intense admiration, elation that is shown on their faces. And this is all happening in the first two seconds of the interaction. So now we've taken a look at the emotional side. We're now going to be taking a look at the body language a woman will show. Also, now I've got the first point out of the way, now is a good time to press the like button and leave any thoughts you have in the comments so far, as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, continuing on with body language. A clear tell to show that you're a sub 5 with regard to body language is that women will want to avoid physical contact with you as much as possible. A hug. Obvious things women will do include having their body tilted away from you, being really tense or uncomfortable in the shoulders, and having their arms really close to their body, which is a common defence mechanism. It's showing that they don't want to be touched and they're trying to guard themselves from others. Or if they make any excuses to leave early, like my friend's calling me over or I have a bus to catch or whatever, and so on and so forth. So if these things frequently happen to you in your interactions with women, then there's a strong chance that you're a sub five. Also, I haven't said this yet, but all of these things are big generalizations and they're not going to happen 100% of the time in 100% of interactions. However, this is where you need to use a bit of common sense to see what the overwhelming sentiment and vibes you receive in your interactions with other people. So just a really quick example, if 80% of the time you're getting these things and another 20% of the time you're getting other things and women are just being friendly towards you, then still, in the majority of cases, the evidence that you have at hand is pointing towards you being sub-5. I hope that makes sense, so don't take everything in this video too literally and rage at me in the comments with your really nitpicky exceptions as these are just generalizations. So, these are key indicators that tell you're a sub-5, meanwhile the opposite goes for chads, where the common theme is that women will make excuses to touch you, so they might playfully punch your arm when making a joke, or make a comment on your appearance, such as your hair, and then begin to play with it as she's talking about it. Here's an example from one of my own experiences, which to this day still sticks in my mind as being a very blackpilling moment of my life. So here's how it goes. Me and a couple friends were around my house just having a low-key meet-up, just chilling pretty much. And these two friends, this is important, had never met each other before. They were both friends of mine and were meeting each other for the first time. And friend one, she was a girl, she was about a 7 out of 10 in looks. She would be what you call a Stacy Light. And then friend two, he was also about a 7. He falls into that Chad Light territory. So we were just around my house and after a while we get a bit bored and we go outside to the park to have a bit of a kick around. So now we're outside playing football and we're just passing it about between each other. And this bit stuck in my mind so vividly. So no more than about 15 minutes after we started playing, the girl, the Stacy Light, out of nowhere, decided to just push into the Chad Light. And forgive me for that horrific animation, but I remember that so much. It stuck in my mind more than anything else that happened that day. And you might not think that this is significant at all, but the fact that they started going out just one week later shows that it did mean something. Because there was absolutely no need for that. There was no need for her to push into him randomly. And bearing in mind that these two people were meeting each other for the first time, and I was there watching the whole time all three of us were together, and the man didn't do anything in particular that stood out. He wasn't particularly confident. He didn't have a lot of so-called game. And in fact, I would say throughout the interaction, I actually had better game than him. I received more laughs than either of the other two did. However, the man was over six foot, 
he was about 2 to 3 inches taller than me, and he was also facially better looking than me too. So the takeaway for me after that day, it did make me question the things that women are attracted to. So I hope you enjoyed that personal little story. Anyway, moving on to the last point about body language. And this applies to chads, and only chads. And that is that women will do various things that either accentuate their beauty or femininity. So this might be things such as pushing their hips or chest out, as it makes their feminine features more prominent. Licking their lips while she's talking to you. Or frequently adjusting or brushing her hair or caressing her face. So pretty much anything that attempts to sexualise her appearance. And this is where I'm going to come to the main point of my video. And this point pretty much sums up everything that I've said in the last 8-10 to 10 minutes. And that is, it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how attractive you think you are. Or any of your friends tell you how attractive you are. In fact, it doesn't matter what women say either. It does not matter how attractive any girl tells you you are. And on top of all of this, it doesn't matter what I say either. Like, myself or anyone else can analyse faces and analyse facial structures till the cows come home. But none of it matters. These are all things that do not matter. So the point of my video is, the only thing that matters is how women treat you. The micro expressions that they show, which a lot of the time are being made subconsciously, that are indicative of either attraction or repulsion. And all of this can be seen through their emotions and body language from when they're interacting with you. So here's a quick example. In my most recent face ratings video, I rated this man, James Tusk. And after analysing his face, I gave him an 8 out of 10. So very much up there in terms of looks, comfortably hitting that chad level. I then further supported my point by analysing various clips of his interactions with women. For example, in this short 5 minute interaction, the girl that he was talking to frequently adjusted and brushed her hair. A total of 6 times in just 5 minutes. I then showed this clip where the woman was enthusiastically smiling at him and this was no more than 30 seconds into the interaction. And there was one other analysis of behaviour that I provided in that video, so if you want to check that out for yourself, then a link will be in the description below. However, despite all of this, I still had people in the comments of the video saying that he wasn't an 8, that he's actually a 7. This is what I'm talking about when I say that it doesn't matter what you have to say. The only thing that matters is how women treat you. And when the evidence points to him being a chad, and women are blatantly showing that they are attracted to him, then that automatically makes him a chad. It does not matter what you, I or anyone else thinks. And it works both ways. Here's another example. So I recently had a message conversation with some guy who wanted me to rate him out of 10. Here's a brief summary of how it went. This is the watered down version. So he first asks me what he is out of 10. And I get back to him and I say he's a 5. And after this he gets a bit defensive. He tells me that I'm wrong. And he brings up that a girl actually told him he's an 8. So I respond and ask him, are you dating this girl then? And he tells me, oh no, she friendzoned me. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you yourself, or any other man that you know, has experienced something like this. Now, I've covered virtue signalling in my videos many times, and this one isn't a rare case. It makes no sense for a woman to tell a man that he is an 8 out of 10, and then to friendzone him later. And some of you might be in the comments already saying, oh, well maybe she didn't like his personality, that's why she friendzoned him. Well, no. Because if the girl didn't like his personality, then she wouldn't even want him as a friend. Why would anyone want a friend if they don't like their personality? I've said this so many times. The only difference between boyfriend and friend is physical attraction. I'll say that again. The only difference between boyfriend and friend is physical attraction. If a woman tells you that you're attractive but is not willing to date you, such as the example I just gave here, then in plain and simple terms, she's lying. And chances are the only reason that she is doing this is to protect your feelings. And also likely doesn't want to lose you as a friend. But I'll expand on this topic a bit more in another video. So, after the examples I just gave you, if you're still confused on how attractive you really are, you're constantly hearing numbers that vary wildly, and you finally want to hear the God to honest truth, then you can get a personal rating from myself. As of this week, I have started Fiverr, and I currently have free services up and running, an in-depth face rating analysis with looks maxing advice, a 30 minute private phone consultation and a 20 minute private message consultation. So if you want to get a personal rating by me, check out my Fiverr, a link will definitely be in the description box below. It is the most simple and secure way to get rated, everything will be 100% private and personal, there is no risk of your images being seen or used for anything else, everything will be for your eyes only. Very important, there will be no virtue signalling to save your feelings. All of this will be the honest to god truth. I will provide detailed feedback and analysis of your images, highlighting both what your best and worst features are. 
and on top of all of this I'll provide short, mid and long term advice in regards to what your current chances are and how much your chances will improve after taking this advice. And you will get all of this for just 10 bucks, which shouldn't take a genius to work out, is very underpriced. Each of these ratings that I've done in the past for people that have personally emailed me have taken roughly 45 minutes to an hour to complete. So you will be getting your money's worth. Everything is bullet pointed and in plain and simple English so you can easily understand. And if you want an example of what you will be receiving, then you'll find a complete analysis and feedback from a man who emailed me and was kind enough to let me use his analysis as an example. So if this is something that at all interests you, then check the description now, a link will be found there. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to press the like button and leave any thoughts you have in the comments below, as it helps the YouTube algorithm.